Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Week one of the 2022 NFL season is not over yet. We've still got Monday Night Football here tonight with Russell Wilson's revenge game against the Seattle Seahawks happening on ESPN. But we welcome you guys into the week one recap show that we do every Monday on this channel that we like to call Time to Football. My name is Hassan Khan, the host of this channel. Glad you guys are a part of it. Listen, I've had a lot of you guys uh, comment down below that have subscribed to this channel before, and I've said things like, hey, where are the fantasy football starts and sets? Well, it only takes you guys watching 45 seconds or a minute into this video to realize for me to say, we have a new fantasy football channel. If you guys missed those starts and sets, go back to our fantasy channel. It's in the description, T2F Fantasy Football. Make sure you guys check that out so you can get your fantasy football advice. But as always, for the recap shows every Monday, we are joined by the wonderful, beautiful. Oh, is that a good term oh. to describe another man? I mean, it's 2022, so like, <laughs> it's. Uh, I feel like it's appropriate. But wow. thank you. Give a warm welcome for his return, Anthony Duvernay. And the crowd goes wild. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But before we get started, yes. I want. I would love to introduce you. Oh my you gosh! Know, I have yeah. to. I mean, yeah. this man right here. He doesn't need an introduction, but I'm gonna give him one. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, listen. I would be downgrading, actually, trying to explain this man's greatness right here. Okay. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just something that you just gotta let leave alone. Okay. Right? Let the greatness stand for itself. Hold on, I'm I'm running. I'm I'm turning. I'm turning. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. I'm talking about your sports caster favorite sports caster. Woo. Okay. I'm I'm trying to tell you that Shannon and Skip called this man this morning to say, "Hey Hassan, listen. If I can only just have a minute of your time, I just want to know what your predictions are this year." I can't believe Skip. Skip. <laughs> Is that not accurate? And then Skip Bro, is like, was... it's my turn. It's my turn. Bro, you are hitting those on the money right now. <laughs> you just uh, throw off my whole introduction. Dude, I can't. I, Stephen A. Smith is one I can't do. LeBron, I can't do. I don't know. Listen, How we ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Hassan God. <laughs> Anthony, with that introduction, that's amazing. <laughs> this is what we're going to do on the show. We're going to have fun. We're going to relax. We're going to talk about football, talk about your favorite teams, and what happened in week one of the 2022 season this past Sunday. We're going to talk about teams, whether they were fluke victories or are they actually the real deal. Before we get into which teams are flukes and which teams are actually legit, I actually have something for you. Okay. Well, not quite something for you. It could be that you don't win this. It's actually a prize. I have a surprise for you. Let's do it. We are sponsored by Manscaped, okay? For real? For real. Manscaped oh. is one of the sponsors for this month, at least. They're, you know, We might re-sign another deal after this month. We have to see. Okay. But what Manscaped decided to do as a gift to us is reward us with the Lawnmower 4.0 package. So I actually have it right here. Bro, is that the the video where they have like the kiwi and they're trying to say Yeah, it? like the like the Rob Gronkowski and yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a let me go ahead and show everyone. Let me show you. So this is the lawnmower 4.0 package. Okay. You can see it says your balls will thank you. Hey. Uh they have you know, crop preserver, ball deodorant, and also <laughs> the razor lawnmower 4.0 is actually wrapped, so you know that I didn't use it. <laughs> so you know this is but this could all be yours if okay you answer five questions in a row okay regarding week one of the Let's 2022 nfl season Bro, that is that is you know what that is coming just in time just yeah <laughs> just what time. are you trying to say what do you what are you inferring let's, let's move on <laughs> yeah, all right <laughs> let's move on. so here we go let me pull up the questions right here i will let you use your phone for one of those questions. Sounds good. But once you use that lifeline, no more lifelines. Let's do this. All right. Here we go. I watch Family Feud, Taxi Cab, Cash Cab. Let's get it. What was the last thing you stuck a finger in? My wife, Steve. That was an actual. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> Week one. First question. Yeah. The Colts and Texans game ended in a tie. What other game almost 
ended in a tie in overtime. Eagles Lions, B Browns Panthers, C Saints Falcons, or D Steelers Bengals. Steelers Bengals. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Well, Anthony, I mean, for the first question, you are correct. You move on. Let's go. Question two. Which quarterback threw the most passing yards yesterday? Is it A, Joe Burrow, B, Patrick Mahomes, C, Derek Carr, or D, Carson Wentz? Are you going to use that lifeline? I think I am. Okay, he's calling a friend. Calling a friend. Yes, he picked up. Put him on speaker. Bet. Yay, hey, Travis. Right now, I'm trying to get this manscaper, right? And I just need to answer these questions correctly. Um, so I'm, I'm phoning a friend for this one question. Here's the question. Hassan, meet Travis. Travis, meet Hassan. Nice to meet you, Travis. So here is the question. Which quarterback threw the most passing yards yesterday? Was it A, Joe Burrow, B, Patrick Mahomes, C, Derek Carr, or D, Carson Wentz? Oh, God, don't hate me, Tony. Listen, if I don't get this manscaper, who? Joe, Joe Burrow? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I disagree strongly. I think he threw for like 340 yards yesterday. Okay. Okay. Was that wrong? I, I I don't know. That's why I'm calling you, Travis. I, I thought it was I thought it was Patrick Mahomes. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to change my answer. I'm gonna say Patrick Mahomes. I think he threw for like 380 or something, didn't he? All right. Hey. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes. That's that's gonna be our final answer, Hassan. We're going with Patrick Mahomes. Patrick the Mahomes. Candy. Final answer. Yep. The correct answer is Patrick Mahomes. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Yo, appreciate you, T. That was two questions in, and you already used a lifeline. So that's okay. Question three. You got three more. Let's do it. Which team had the biggest margin of victory? So who beat their team by the most amount of points? A, Ravens against the Jets. B, Vikings against the Packers. It's A. <laughs> it's A, bro. 27 to 3, I think it was. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, that was rude. That was rude. C, what was that? Hassan? <laughs> C, Chiefs versus Cardinals. Oh. And D, Buccaneers versus Cowboys. Dang it. I'm I'm st I'm going to say I'm going to say the Ravens and Jets. I'm sticking with that one. Ravens and Jets. Final answer? <laughs> yeah, that's my final answer. Well, Anthony, may have to oh, man. stay ungroomed for a week because the final answer was actually Chiefs versus Cardinals was the correct answer. So unfortunately, what? yeah, Ravens Jets margin of victory was 15 points. They won 24 to 9. Chiefs Cardinals 44 to 21 was the final score. <sighs> So, unfortunately, Anthony, you do not win the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. But you guys can get the Lawnmower 4.0. If you well, click that link in the description, use the promo code T2F. No. And you no. get a 20% discount. Uh, uh, we're disagreeing <laughs> with not with you being wrong. You're just going to give away my Manscaper like that. You have a chance to win. Every week we're going to do this. So you have another chance. Golly. But the questions are going to get... You know, switched up, so you don't right. know what's coming. That's what she said. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Now let's get into the NFL portion of the show where we talk about which teams are legit and which teams are flukes. So mm -hmm. I sent you a list of teams that put off an upset victory, a lot of them. Yeah. It's week one. There were sloppy games. But we're going to go one, one by one with all these teams, and you tell me whether they're going to be legit this year or it was just a fluke. Let's get into so, it. First off, let's start with the Minnesota Vikings. Do you feel like that they are legit or a fluke? Man, I'm going to say fluke. Okay. I'm going to say fluke. You, They had the third worst defense last year. It was pretty bad. Their defense is trash. Their offense is very explosive. But I'm old school. Defense wins championships. So I'm going to say fluke. But even in that demanding victory against Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, who we 
touted as NFC North champions. Yes. You still say that. I said that. That that they're going to be NFC North champions last <laughs> week. The the Vikings. I said. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That's exactly what you said. Okay. Um, okay. Well, you think that they're a fluke. I say they are legit. I think that this defense. We feel like it got better in the draft. It got better. They mm-hmm. added key pieces like Zadarius Smith, and you talked about. The Vikings offense. I think everyone knew that this Vikings offense was going to be legit. Stupid. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy good. Justin Jefferson, almost 200 yards receiving. Like, that's incredible. But, yeah, I'm going to say legit. And I know that when we talk about which teams are fine or in trouble, we're going to talk about the Green Bay Packers. But I know it's just week one, and I know that the Packers, oh, maybe it's just an off week. But the Vikings showed what they're capable of, and I think that yeah. they could make a run. If not the NFC North Championship, at least yeah. uh, a playoff spot. Rodgers looked lost without Adams. I ain't going to lie. He looked lost. It was pretty bad. I don't know if you saw the uh, drop by Christian Watson. Oh, uh, my gosh. That was a TD. That was. Uh, Devontae Adams. Rookie. Would have caught that. Would have caught that. Devontae uh, Adams would have got Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, talking about the next team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Overtime victory, last second, against the Cincinnati Bengals. Upset victory. Steelers, yeah. legit or fluke? It's like a relationship, right? Okay. You either have a good relationship and have some bad days, or you have a bad relationship and have some good days. I just think the Bengals had a bad day. I mean, they need a new kicker. He's trash. Whoa. He, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Evan McPherson? McPherson. Who's going to be the next Justin Tucker? I'm a big Evan McPherson guy. You are? I'm a huge. You are? Last Last year? year, What? Last year, he missed three field goal attempts. Like, it was was like 20 yards out. He missed three in one game, Hassan. Yes, I understand. (laughs) I get that Bengals-Packers game was crazy. But dude, Bro. I was I was on the Evan McPherson train before anyone knew Evan McPherson. I don't know if you saw that highlight clip of McPherson when he was at Florida kicking the football and it hits like that Gatorade bottle on top of the railing. Do you know what yeah, I'm talking about? And crazy. It's a, it's, but that was in Florida. But that was at okay in Cincinnati. He's missing three field goal attempts, game winners, bro. And then he missed it yesterday. Uh, you know what's funny? I was watching the game with my dad, and he could change the channel. I was like, whoa, 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 dad, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's like, no, nah, son, he's a field goal range. This game is over. <laughs> yeah. You would think. I you said, would think. I said, no, dad, the Bengals kicker, this is my word, the Bengals kicker is a choker. Like, he's not, well, he's going to miss to it. His, to his defense, one of them, the extra point, I think, was blocked. And then another field goal, it was a high snap, put it down. The laces were towards him. They didn't have time to turn it. So I, okay, well. But anyway. Yeah, anyways. anyways. But the Steelers, like you think that they're, they are a fluke. Yeah, I think they're a fluke. I think they're a fluke. And I think, I think uh, Joe Burrow needs to go see uh, James Winston's um, eye doctor (laughs) yesterday (laughs) because Winston had a great game. Yeah. After his eye surgery and then Burrow after a Super Bowl debut. Those four interceptions. A little bit of a uh, little bit of rust. It, it looked like, but I mean, he he posted on social media a countdown until the season opener, and did not work out for Burrow with that countdown. What uh, were you doing over the summer, Burrow? Hmm? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, have you seen that clip of Najee Harris where a reporter asks him, "Hey, what was the most fun thing you did in the summer?" And then Harris is just like. Like looking around, trying like not to answer. I'm like, <laughs> oh, there's probably a lot of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, things. Too many things to... ran through his mind. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. He was but... like, which one is TV appropriate? None and, of them. And then he <laughs> just said, some, yeah, he said something like training or whatever. Like, it's like, all right, the yeah. safe answer. Yeah, that's just that's a safe Working one. Working out with my guys is great. Um, I'm gonna say that the Steelers. I don't think they're a fluke. Can I put them in the middle? No, no. All right, then I'm gonna say legit. Seriously? I'm, I'm going to say legit. You beat the defending AFC champions, which we discussed last week. I said that we expect them to take a little bit of a regression just because everybody else got better. The Steelers are one of those teams that got better. And it was week one. There was a little bit of rust. I think 
if the Steelers face the Bengals any other week besides week one, mm -hmm. where you're in midseason form, I think the Bengals would have lost, or the Bengals would have won. But you still beat the defending AFC champions. I'm going to give the Steelers credit, because I'm a positive guy, unlike Anthony. So, I mean, there you go, <laughs> Steeler Nations. I got your back. Yeah. Um, all right, we can agree with this one. Chicago Bears. Flu. <laughs> Yeah. It's a fluke. It's a fluke. Yeah. They tried to dry the field off with a towel. That didn't that didn't work. Did you see that? I, yeah. It it was, you got I, a, they got a flag. They threw a flag on them for that. <laughs> Come on, man. I saw the uh yeah, a lot of pregame stuff. They're using like the squeegees and like the I saw one picture where like the rain messed up like the chalk on the sideline. So like ten minutes before the game, they were like redoing the paint, like, oh crap, we gotta hurry, you know. Dude was filming um, himself and tried to dry the field with his towel. <laughs> Stud. But they had fun in that rain. They, they did. did. That looked like fun. They yeah. did a little slip and slide. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, but fluke. I think a lot of people thought that this was going to be the one of the worst teams in the NFL, and I still feel like that it's it's like that. But, yeah. you know, not rookie quarterback, but second-year quarterback, pretty much uh, first game starting as a full-time starter for the 49ers. Yeah, there's going to be some mishaps, and mm -hmm. um, the Bears, I don't know. Maybe they're maybe they could prove us wrong, but I think you yeah. and I agree that they're flukes. But the Houston Texans now they didn't win, but they stood toe to toe with the AFC South projected winners that a lot of people have in the mm -hmm. Indianapolis Colts. Are the Texans legit or are they a fluke? You mean like are they gonna do something this year? Like are they, are they gonna yeah. cause some yeah? Are they some gonna noise? Do, are gonna are they gonna do fluke? <laughs> fluke. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Bro, have I had a legit yet? I need you a You have not had a legit. Man, you're such you're you're a negative Nancy. Negative Nancy. But have you had a fancy Nancy at Chicken Salad Chick? I'm never we need to make them a sponsor next. Chicken Salad Chick. Come to town football. <laughs> Please, so that Anthony can answer five questions in a row and win a sandwich. I don't know. I've never been there. What did this sell? It's great. You gotta sandwich. check it out. It's called a fancy Nancy. It's really delicious. Dude, I'll buy you lunch. Thanks, man. Check it out. Uh Houston Texans for me. Dang, man. I can't choose in the middle. No, it's fluke or legit, Hassan. Stop being lukewarm. Fluke. Dang it, man. There we go. Dang it, we yeah. I agree. We okay. got to agree. I got to. That was good. That was good that they stood toe to toe with the Indianapolis Colts. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't, I don't think that they're really going to. They're going to play spoiler with a lot of teams. Like, they're going to be that pesty little team that's like, oh, dang it, I shouldn't have lost to them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to say the Texans are a fluke, but I will give them credit. They did have a good game. Miami Dolphins, is this going to be the first legit on your list? Yep. Miami Dolphins ain't nothing to play with. None. Tua Hill. That's it. That's like Madden. That's all you're doing all day. Tua to Hill. But what is Tua's throwing power in Madden? <laughs> this is the eye squint for me. I don't know. It's like an 86. <laughs> I just do it. All right. All right. It might be. It might, it might be. be. Uh, That's what I would rate him. He looked great. No, Tyreek Hill, eight receptions, 94 yards. Uh, Jalen Waddle got a little bit involved. I say the Dolphins are legit as well. Yeah. Um, there we go. You, you, you know, you don't beat the New England Patriots, Bill Belichick led. Uh, Matt Patricia calling the offense. Ew. Uh, but, yeah. no, the Dolphins, I think, are going to make some noise with the new head coach, and the run game eventually is going to start getting better and better, and then that's going to be very, very dangerous. So the Dolphins, I agree, are legit. Now, the last team that pulled off an upset, the New York Giants, in dramatic fashion. How about that? Very ballsy. Let's go. Going for two. Let's go. That's right, going for two. You know why? Because we're winners. Okay, that's, that's it. At the end of the day, we're winners. There's okay? nothing else to it. There's nothing else to it. We try to change a culture up in that franchise. And how we do that is by winning. So, no, we're not going to go and tie it up. But we'll let the rest of the NFL tie it up. You know how many who, – who tied? Houston and Colts. So many ties going on <laughs> yesterday. No. Giants were like, listen, we're going for this thing. Give it to – give it to thighs. Saquon Barkley. Saquad. Saquad. Uh-huh. Yeah. He brought it in there. Yep. Going for two. The Giants, 
I'm gonna say we're a fluke, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You either want me on this show, or you don't. So I, they're legit. <laughs> I'm just here so I don't get fined. Please stay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so tell me what I want to hear, Hassan. <laughs> So the Giants, not what you want to hear. I'm going to say they're a fluke just because they almost lost it. When the the Titans were moving down the field, after that two-point conversion, which was ballsy, which was like, oh my gosh, I love it. But the Titans drove down the field. Mm -hmm. Randy Bullock, the Titans kicker, just blew it at the end. We could have been talking about the Titans... But he blew it, and that's what matters. Almost doesn't count in football. Yes, but is it more of a mistake by Bullock or a, the Giants making just being amazing and taking the W? All right, legit. Fair enough. I mean, legit. Legit. We got Anthony saying legit on that, and uh, I'm saying they're a fluke. So to recap, the the teams that pulled off an upset win: Vikings. This is just for me. Uh, Vikings mm-hmm. legit, Steelers legit, Bears fluke, Texans fluke, Dolphins Dolphins legit, and Giants fluke. Anthony has Vikings fluke, Steelers fluke, Bears fluke, Texans fluke. <laughs> Such a positive guy. Uh, Dolphins legit, and yeah. the Giants legit. Going to teams that we expected to be good, mm-hmm. but lost in dramatic fashion or... You know, we're good last year, but lost to an, an underdog this week. So, uh, first, let's start off with the Green Bay Packers. Do you think that they are fine or they are in trouble? No, they're fine. They're good. Okay. They're good. Like I said, I think at last video, Aaron Rodgers got a chip on his shoulder. Packers are fine. Aaron okay. Rodgers, he, he's good. He's good. They'll just make some adjustments as long as that rookie starts catching those balls yeah. wide open. That was uh, that was brutal. That was tragic, but I think they're good. Yeah, I'm gonna go and agree with you and say that they are fine. I don't think that there, there's anything of too much to be concerned about. It's gonna be worse a little bit this season without Devonte Adams. Yeah, we all expected sure. that, but uh, for Matt Lafleur to make the NFC Championship three years in a, in a row without getting Aaron Rodgers much help, that says a lot. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah, it's. It's fine. It's it's going to be okay. And I think last year, uh, week one, they lost big time against the New Orleans Saints. Mm. James Winston threw five touchdowns, and everybody was like, oh, the Green Bay Pack. Aaron Rodgers Ooh. went on to win an MVP that year. So I think they're completely fine. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals losing to the Pittsburgh Steelers in overtime. Are they fine or in trouble? Come on, Joe. Um, I, I'm going to say I'm going to say they're going to be fine, though. Okay. I'm, they're they're going to be fine. Yeah, I'm with you. That was bad. Terrible. But it's fine. I, I It's okay. When you talk about the teams that are going to be compa- competing in the AFC, the Bengals always come up. Yeah. And will they make the AFC Championship with the Bills around, with the Chargers around, with the Chiefs looking good against the Cardinals? I don't know. But as far as AFC contenders, yeah, they're up there. So I'm going to say, yeah, it's okay. But Burrow, you need to call up Winston and ask him for his eye doctor's information and get that handled. As long as you have insurance, which for I'm NFL sure players, you do. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. What about the 49ers? They lost 19-10 to against the Chicago Bears in a very wet game. Yeah. That was bad. It was that bad. That was very bad. But I'm going to say that they're fine. Okay. I'm going to say that they're fine. All right. I think I think Lance is going to lead that team really well. You're a Lance believer. I'm a Lance believer. And at what point? I I know that this was a report that uh, Jay Glazer on Fox came out with saying that uh, Kyle Shanahan, the head coach, called in 15 team leaders mm-hmm. that were part of that uh, 49ers team uh, before the season started and said, "Hey." If Trey Lance does bad, there's going to be a lot of people in the media asking you questions like, do you feel like Jimmy Garoppolo should go in? Like, are you a believer in Trey Lance? I want you to always back up Trey, Trey Lance on everything. And the team leaders were like, yep, I got you. So they have faith in, in Lance. Mm-hmm. And when he performs poorly, they're going to continue to keep Lance in there. So Garoppolo, I think, is being talked about 
being traded to the Cowboys now. Like, just rumors. Speculating. Just because of the yeah. injury to Dak Prescott. That was crazy. Yeah, but... I fell asleep, and then I woke up. Yeah. He, to the game being over, and yeah. he had an injury. I was like, what? Dak is gone? Again, That's, man. So, Jimmy, Jimmy to the Cowboys, I'll probably be smart. 49ers, for me, I'm going to say they're in trouble. I'm going to say, like, against the Chicago Bears, who we said were a fluke. And if you lose to a fluke team, I mean, I'm not saying that the 49ers can't be mm-hmm. playoff contenders. I think they can. Yeah. But if you lose this early on, I know it's week one. Things are sloppy. It was a wet game. Things are sloppy. But it was one of the worst teams in the NFL and the Bears. There has to be some sort of reason for concern. With a new quarterback, you got to be like, okay, what are we doing wrong? We got to fix this before something, you know, it just ruins our season. So I'm saying, I'm saying they're in trouble. The Indianapolis Colts, they tied it against the Texans. Fine or in trouble? Trouble. Let's just move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I mean, Matty Ice looked good. You know he was run, he was moving the ball he was running the ball a little out bit out of the pocket out yeah. of the pocket I'm like who is this Ooh. who is this I tell you who it is the guy that I said is a runner up for MVP last week you did say that <laughs> <laughs> you did you did okay so you say they're in trouble I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with they're fine still a very talented team I still think that they're favorites to win the AFC South uh, I know that the Tennessee Titans which we're gonna be talking about in just a bit. Or contenders as well, but um, I'm gonna say they're fine. No okay. panic here. But for the New England Patriots, are they fine or in trouble? Trouble. Patriots aren't what they used to be. No. It's. Uh, I agree with you. I mean, Matt Patricia calling the offense. It did not look good against the Dolphins. The Dolphins defense is pretty good, but I mean, we expected a, a step up, and the second year for Mac Jones. Didn't mm-hmm. show it. Yeah. Two good running backs, Damon Harris from Roger Stevenson. Didn't look like it was a run first team. So uh, I'm going to say they're in trouble as well. Yeah. And, and they got to fix some stuff before uh, their season goes to waste. Uh, and the last team we want to talk about the Tennessee Titans losing to your New York Giants. Are they <laughs> fine or in trouble? Um, They're fine. I would say they're fine. Even losing to my Giants. Go G, man. Um, but yeah, I think the Titans are fine. They always pull, they always, I think they're going to be the, I think the Titans to me are Houston to you. Like the ones that upset or yeah. like, oh, I shouldn't have lost to the Titans, you know, but Derrick Henry is amazing. I, I, I like their offense a lot, a lot. And I like their coach too. Yeah. I think the Tennessee Titans are fine. They were the number one seed in the AFC last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, somehow, some way they always get it done. Uh, yeah. Some people would think maybe you need to move on with Ryan Tannehill to each their own. Uh, but I think Tannehill gets it done enough to where, yeah, I agree. He, you know, he's a part of the, you know, the system and the offense and, I agree. you know, he, he's completely fine. Um, all right. So that is going to wrap up our show. Uh, one more thing before we go. I didn't take a moment at the beginning of the show to do this, but I'm going to be doing injury roundups just real quick, getting you guys updated on all the injury news that's happening. Uh, TJ Covering Watt. all the bases. All, all the, the bases, bases right here on time to football. Guys, you can't get this information anywhere else. Not even no. Google. Nope. Like, come on. <laughs> this is the show. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it right yeah. there. This is, uh, yeah, you just beg. Um <laughs> And so, anyways, uh, injury roundup. TJ Watt, very talented player for the Steelers. He has a torn pectoral muscle. He's going to be out for quite a bit. So that is a big blow for the Steelers Ouch. defense. Have you ever had your torn your your pec torn? No, but it sounds like you have. No, I haven't. Oh, continue. But I, yeah, I don't like. I'd imagine it would get like purple and like. Yeah. Can't really do anything. Uh, T Higgins left the game with a concussion for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's probably going to be in concussion protocol. We still don't know whether he's going to be playing next week or not. Elijah Mitchell suffered a knee injury. We don't know the extent of that knee injury just yet, uh, but that is a big blow for the 49ers, who probably are just going to go with Jeff Wilson or Jordan Mason or whoever uh, at running back. Uh, Keenan Allen looked great against the chart or against the Raiders early on, but then he pulled his hamstring. He was out. Mm. We don't know his status. 
Uh, Chris Godwin came back unexpectedly after tearing an ACL, had a hamstring injury, was out for the remainder of the game. We don't know his status for next week. But then Dak Prescott, we do know his status for the next six to eight weeks. He's going to be out. Cooper Rush, we expect, is going to be the quarterback for that time period. Uh, He suffered a right thumb injury, and he had to have surgery on it. So that is your injury roundup. But Monday Night Football, who's your pick? Broncos, Seahawks. Who you got? Broncos. Easy. By how many points? All of them. (laughs) That's it. Zero points for the Seahawks, and then we'll give them 69 points uh, for the Broncos. I'm going to go, yeah, Broncos by 20. I, I don't think the Seahawks have any chance to, to stop them. 20? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 20, I think 20 is a good one. 25. 25. Why just, not, just, just because Russell's going to show off hey. behind the back passes. But, you know, the Falcons gave up a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl. Um, and they gave up a 16-point lead just yesterday. Dude, Atlanta sports. God, I love it. You know what I? I you know what I do love though? The consistency. I love consistency. You know what to expect. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, oh, they're up by sixteen. You never feel okay. You never, never feel safe. Or oh, we got this in the bag. As a Falcons fan, I agree with you, and I wasn't disappointed at all because I knew what to expect. Yeah. That concludes our episode of Time Two Football. We thank you guys for tuning in to this week's Week One recap, Anthony. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Always a pleasure to have you. Uh, So make sure you guys subscribe. Again, if you guys are fantasy football fans and have been missing those starts and sets on this channel, click that link in the description, T2F Fantasy Football. That is a channel you need to go to uh, for your fantasy football advice. This will cover uh, week one or weekly recaps and weekly previews. Uh, So make sure you stay tuned for the show coming up this Thursday when we have Uh, Jansen Harris on giving us a preview of week two with all that said thank you guys so much for watching this episode and I'll see you Thursday